You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. Let us continue more on what's going to happen next. Enjoy. Marina stepped closer to the girl quietly and said, Um, excuse me, miss. Senorita? Uh, senorita. The girl snapped out of her daze, looked up, and she looked terrified as she ran. Marina cried out, Wait, senorita, please. I mean no harm. Come back. Please, I, I don't want to hurt you. Nobody does. I'm sorry, it's just... Marina stopped at the stairs as the girl cowered towards a picture frame. Marina looked at the picture of a woman with the same hair color as the girl. The girl looked back. What do you want with me? She asked. Oh my, so this is what the townspeople were talking about. The others were out of breath. Hibiki tried to say, What is... What the heck are you? Hibiki, do you see what I see? Marina said. Hibiki looked up. And he squinted his eyes to see a beautiful woman who looked exactly like the girl. Yes, he said. Mi amigos, I don't believe those townspeople were crazy after all. Gloria looked down, not in a snobby way, but in a curious way. I'm sorry, I don't think you understood. Um, what do you want with me? Oh, senor, senorita, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. We're just here to, um, just to take a walk around and I didn't notice that. This woman here, she looks exactly like you. Yeah, that's, that's my mom. That's, um, Perdita. <gasps> Perdita. <laughs> it's funny. It sounds like the name of that one movie with the Dalmatians. You know, Purdy. Oh, yes, yes. I do remember that. See, si, see, si, of course. She does look like me. I can see why people are praising me so much. Wow. Your mother. She's a Hermosa. Hermosa? What do you mean? Gloria asked. Oh. My apologies, it means she's beautiful. Quite a beauty, a bonita. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I never really learned much language. All I know is just things that have to do with some sort of religion. And well, just then, Hibiki begins to circle around Gloria. Gloria was taken aback. Well, she does have the hair. Rosa Mystica, as everyone referred to your mother. She may have been a beauty like you, but you're even more precious. Oh, um... Gloria said, well, she was stammering with nervousness. She didn't know what to do. Marina managed to pull Gloria away gently and said, No, no, no. Don't flirt with her. I'm so sorry. He can't help himself. He's very much more persistent. But I have to give you some time to maybe concentrate on what you really need to do. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's... 
I'm just so scared of going back out there. I just want to be left alone. It, the pressure's too much for me. But I have to be nice in every way, so I can't be rude. Oh, I see, senorita. Believe me, giving much praise, it's wonderful for the first time. But then after a while, it gets pretty overwhelming. But you'll get used to it, I promise you. It's not that easy. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just feel so scared. I feel... <sighs> feel something terrible is going to happen. Gloria managed to say breathlessly. Marina realized her dream. She remembers it. And then Marina managed to focus. Listen, why don't you come with us? Maybe we can help you find a way out. Maybe distract the crowd. And then we'll lead you away. Could you do that? I don't know. I mean, my brother. He wouldn't approve. Your brother? Oh, yeah. Um, his name is Holland. Marina froze. Then she thought, Why does that name sound familiar? Then she remembered that stoic-looking guy. That no-nonsense one. Marina said, Oh, yes, him. I actually met him before. Quite a charmer, isn't he? You met him? Is he okay? Oh, yes, but he's quite a strict no-nonsense. Senor, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, he's always like that. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, no, no. Don't even... Never say that. Nada. We're going to get you out of here. I don't know. Holland doesn't really trust outsiders. Said Gloria. But I do trust you, but at the same time, I don't know if he is able to. Marina pretended to be offended and said, Well, you know what? We were coming up with a very amazing plan, and I can see I don't think it would be wise of us to help you. But if you change your mind, we'll be around, but we are going to leave. Marina was about to step away. The others were baffled and tried to stop her, but she whispered, saying, Shh, don't say another word. That is my only way for her to know. However, Hibiki protested towards the Latina. I'm telling you, we're walking away from something important. Not too early, my friend. Amigos, walk slowly. They walked a bit slowly, but steady. Smooth and slow and steady will win the race. Then Marina noticed something without even turning around. And then she whispered, Tres, dos, uno. Then she made a motion with her hand. And all of a sudden, Gloria cried out, Marina! Yes! Wow, that was easy. Uh, Marina, wait! Gloria said. Marina turned around. The others acted like they were curious. Marina asked, Sorry, senorita. Did you call me? Uh, listen, you know, I've been thinking about it, and I, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to get in trouble, but I've heard a lot about the agents of Evermore. I heard that they're like saviors, like the soldiers and the great ones. Marina nodded, trying to keep her straight face intact. Uh-huh. And also, if you can help me, I would be most 
grateful of you. Maybe I can reward you if you want. Jenny's ears perked up at this. Oh, then we'll be happy to be rewarded if we do good on our part. But you have to make sure you do your part quite well, my lady. We'll help you if you help us in exchange for all of this trouble. But we don't want to give you any trouble. It's all right. I'm just afraid I'll get myself in trouble, Gloria said. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. Nada. Nuh uh. Mm -mm. Come on. We're going to come up with a distraction. And then, vamos, we are going to leave. So, the townspeople were just doing their usual routine. The people of the cathedral managed to distract the people with some sort of some sort of religious tradition and everyone managed to follow in suit. While this was going on, Marina managed to put her fingers to her temple, then to her chest, in between her breastbone, and then to the sides of her shoulders and say, <sighs> Zeus Christo, I will honor you forever. Then she managed to get Gloria on her back. That's when Marina began to fly a little while the others followed in suit with Ren's aerial magic. During this time, one of the people cried out, Look, there she is. She's flying with an angel. Oh, an angel. I can't believe it. Praise, praise. Everyone cheered for Gloria. Gloria couldn't help but blush. Marina laughed. <laughs> Just get used to it, I promise. It'll get better. Just stay strong, right? I will see you all soon. Goodbye, Gloria said, waving. And off they went into the distance above. <sighs> well, we're going to continue more on that later on. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Until next time. I should have said later, but what I mean is next time. Bye-bye.